Rockport Lone Star Lance audio book. I got my Bentley. I brought my Bentley. See what I'm rolling with here. I'm jealous. Oh nine, baby. Good year. Lo lay li lai lo lu. Can't you, don't you, won't you? One, two, three, four. Put that booty on the floor. <clears throat> okay. The events of this book take place in a bygone era. A simpler time. It begins in the spring of 2019. By no means an idyllic time, but compared to its older sibling 2020, it was a true delight. So sit back, relax, and take a figurative breath of fresh, COVID-free air as we embark on Lance Ford's perilous journey to the exotic land of Dallas, Texas. A short, pasty white man in a banana print novelty suit walks with trepidation down a dimly lit hotel hallway. He stops for a moment as his shifty eyes rest on a dusty painting hanging on the blood-red wall that reads, Dallas, big things happen here. A large, muscle-bound man in a suit two sizes too small stands guard at the door of room 234 as the short man approaches and says with a wink, You're late. Get inside, the stone-faced guard replies as he opens the door to a pitch-black room and moves to his left. The short man playfully attempts to poke the guard's stomach as he passes, but before his finger can make contact, the guard grabs his wrist with predatory swiftness and begins to squeeze. If you value your hands, you'll keep them away from me. The short man moans in pain as the guard tosses him into the room and closes the door, leaving him in complete darkness. After a few moments of silence, a sadistic voice with the sandpaper twang of a grizzled cowboy says, Need a light, Ronald? A stage spotlight suddenly turns on, pointed directly at Ronald, who squints into the blinding light and wistfully replies, Mom? Is that you? It's decision time. Yes. Hmm. So many options. Uh, I think I'll go with the grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup. No crackers. Ronald's joke is met with silence, broken only by the pumping of a shotgun. He nervously wipes flop sweat from his brow and mutters, Huh, I guess I'll skip lunch. You know how I feel about people who waste my time. Of course. Down to business. Are you sure this whole plan is ethical? When it comes to winning this war, ethics are irrelevant. Ronald replies with a chuckle. My preschool teacher used to say the same thing. She was a hoot. More silence. Ronald sighs. Ah, tough crowd. And what if I say no? You'll be dead. Well, that sure clarifies things. No one made you swear the oath. But I thought they were kidding. The cloaks and the coffin and all that? I can't be the only one who found that funny. Get me the files and you live. Fine, but that's it. After that, I'm done, and I'm kicking your goons out of my theater club. The spotlight shuts off, leaving Ronald once again in complete darkness.